There is abundant grace, abundant power, abundant healing in Jesus Christ or in the name of Jesus. Jesus was on the way to Jairus' house to see his daughter. Luke and Mark said that the child was dead. Matthew said that the child was dying. But Jairus, Jesus, Jairus came to Jesus to come and see his daughter at home. So Jesus was on the way to Jairus' house. He was followed by a big crowd or a large crowd. And then a woman who has been struggling, suffering from a chronic bleeding for 12 good years, made her mind that this day will not pass her by. That today Jesus was not going to pass her by. She, could, she would do anything to get her portion of grace, to get her portion of blessing, to get her portion of deliverance, to receive her healing on that day. Despite the large crowd, despite the people that surrounded Jesus, that won't allow anybody to touch the Jesus, this woman desired like the, the deer pants after the waters, the woman panted, longed to touching Jesus, to getting closer to Jesus. And the Bible says that she made her mind that if she could only touch the hem of his garment, the hem of his garment, she will be healed. She will be made whole. She will be delivered. She will be set free. This bleeding, this chronic bleeding of 12 years will end that day. And sure enough, she maneuvered her way into touching Jesus' cloth. And immediately, immediately, she felt her deliverance. At the same time, Jesus felt a power come out of him. And the Bible says that he turned to look and ask, who touched me? The disciples, not knowing what happened, both in the physical and in the spiritual, began to say, how can you ask this kind of question when you know that the crowd is this much? When you know that people are pressing on everyone. So to the disciple, it was, a, it was a okay. There was evidence it was normal that Jesus could have felt somebody touching him. But there are touch among touches. The touch that Jesus was talking about was the touch of faith. The touch that came seeking for something, longing to take something from the king of the king, from the healer, from the great physician, from the great deliverer. That's the kind of touch that Jesus was talking about. And the woman, knowing what happened, surrendered to Christ. Kneeling down, she confessed. She told him what she did. And Jesus did not cast her out. Jesus did not curse her. Jesus did not turn to, to rebuke her. Rather, he laid his hand on her and told her that she was blessed. She even redeclared, redefined her identity, telling her, calling her daughter. He redefined her identity, calling her daughter. And then he told her, her faith has made her whole. Her faith has worked for her. Her faith has delivered her. Brothers and sisters, there is abundance grace, abundance healing, abundant peace when we come to Jesus Christ. But we ought to come with faith. Abundance because after
after Jesus spent the time with the woman with the chronic bleeding, he still had the grace and the power to go to Jaros' house to see his daughter. And when he reached there, the Bible makes us understand that people were already crying. As a matter of fact, the Rand, the Randrish, the Matthews Randrish says that people came, his servant came and met him and said, there's no need calling or bothering the master, master Jesus. The child is dead. And people were already crying, wailing. And Jesus reached there, he said, why are you wailing? Take hearts. The child is not dead. But she's sleeping. She's sleeping. But I would think that Jesus would say the child is not dead, but she is alive. But what would he say? That the child is sleeping. Brothers and sisters, that's a theological question that we will be asking. But my point here is that the grace to heal is abundant. The one that the woman took on Jesus' way to Jairus would, would not, did not cause Jesus to, to lack the power to go and bring to life Jairus' daughter. One woman received the power, the grace to be healed from chronic bleeding. Another one who is already dead still have the chance, the opportunity, the grace to receive deliverance from the power of death. I pray for somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to long for Christ. Receive the grace to thirst for Christ. And receive the grace to be healed from your years of affliction. Receive the grace to be delivered from the power of sin and death. In Jesus' name, amen.